Hello class 5. Welcome to your English language class children. Now in this uh, class we will discuss, we will do page number 22 of your book. So open your book, this is your book. Okay, so open your book at page number 22. Clear? Page number 22, chapter 5 as you all know. And the name of the chapter is pronoun. Isn't it? So we have completed exercise A and B. Today we will do exercise number C. Clear? Now what we have to do here, let us see. Rewrite the sentences by replacing the nouns in italics with suitable pronouns, personal pronouns. Okay, what you have to do, rewrite the sentences. Few sentences are given. You have to rewrite them. Uh, replacing what, but what you have to do, you have to replace the noun written in italics with suitable personal pronoun. One is done for you. See number one, the mother loves children. The mother gives toys to the children. See to the children is written in italics, italic, okay. And the mother also, it is also written in italics. This is, italics is the font. See the first one. Exercise number C, the first one. The mother and the children. Isn't it? So, italics is the font. Okay. Now, the mother loves children. The mother gives toys to the children. Now, which are the words that are written in italics? That is the mother and the children. So, what we will do? First sentence will remain same. The mother loves children. Fine. Now, in place of the mother, what we will write? She. She gives toys to them. In place of the children, what we will write? To them. Means to the children. Okay, them is the pronoun, personal pronoun used in place of the children. Clear? So, let us begin. Take a pencil in your hand. Number two, Rakesh ran fast. Rakesh fell down. His mother hugged Rakesh, Rajesh, sorry, Rajesh. So, Rajesh ran fast. Rajesh fell down. His mother hugged Rajesh. So, what you will write first? You will write the first sentence same as it is. Rajesh ran first. Then in place of second, second sentence in place of Rajesh, you will write. He fell down. Then his mother hugged him. Okay. So, first one you will write. Rajesh ran fast. He fell down. His mother hugged him. Clear? Done? Write with me. I am giving you time. Written. Now number three. Birds build their nests. Birds live in them happily. So birds build their nest. Now birds, birds is again written in italic. So in place of birds what we will write? They. They live in them happily. Rest of the words you will remain as it is. Only in place of birds you will write they. Clear? Now, the dog number 4. The dog was barking at the stranger. The dog rushed to the stranger. Here in the second sentence, the dog and the stranger are written in italics. Okay. Now, what you will write? The dog was barking at the stranger. Okay. It rushed to the strangers. In place of the strangers, you will write. In place of dog, you will write it. It rushed to him. In place of stranger, the stranger, you will write him. Clear? Is it clear? Next. Number five. Rakesh and I are classmates. I sit next to Rakesh. See here, Rakesh and I are classmates. So, it will remain same. The first sentence will remain same. Then, I sit next to him. So, you will replace Rakesh by with him. 
so the sentence will be like this i uh, rakesh and i are classmates i sit next to him clear next number 6 james and peter are my friends james and peter asked me to play with james and peters here james and peters and again james and peters are written in italic so what we'll do we are asked to replace the italics with the pronouns so six will write james and peter are my friends done they in place of james and peter you will write they they asked me to play with them in place of again james and peter will write they so james and peter are friends okay they asked me to play with them t h e m them clear written i think the students of class 2 are very uh, class 5 you are very smart you can do it okay now uh, number 7 the police caught the thief. The police caught the thief. The police took the thief to the police station. Okay, what we'll do? The police caught the thief as it is. Then he took the thief. Again, he took him to the police station. The police caught the thief. Fine. He took him to the police station. So, in place of police, you'll write he. Then, in place of thief, you'll write the thief, you'll write him. Clear? Now, come to number 8. Page number 23. Come to page number 23. Number 8. Where is the key to my car? I can't find the car key. Okay. So, I what you'll write? Where is the key to my car? I can't find it. In the next sentence, I can't find the car key. In place of the car key, what you'll write? I can't find it. It it. Okay. Now number nine. Rini and Ria are my cousins. Rini and Ria and I go for picnics together. Let us see what can be done here. Rini and Ria are my cousins. Then Rini and Ria and I. In place of this Rini, Ria and I. We, what can we write? We. W E we. So Rini and Ria are my cousins. We go for picnics together. Done? Understood? Okay. Number 10. The snake charmer caught a snake. The snake charmer put the snake in a basket so here uh, the snake charmer in the second sentence is written in italics and again the snake is also written in italics okay now the snake charmer caught the scott a snake as it is you'll write he in place of snake charmer now in here what you'll write he he puts it in place of the snake you'll write it he put it means it it in a basket clear is it clear next number 11 ben could not understand the question ben asked miss lee mrs lee no miss sorry miss lee to explain to ben once more so ben is a boy ben could not understand the question as it is ben in place of ben what will write he he asked Miss Lee to explain him once more. In place of to Ben, what will write him? So, shall I read it once again? Ben could not understand the question. He asked Miss Lee to explain him, explain to him, sorry, to explain to him once more. Okay, in place of Ben, you will write him. Is it clear? I think it is very simple. You have understood and you can do it by yourself also. Isn't it? It is very simple. Okay, this type of questions will come in the test, in the exam. And I hope you can do it very nicely. Thank you.